When I moved to New York, I didn't know a soul. I didn't know why I was here or what I was doing. I just came. And I went to get my teeth cleaned, of all things. And I had 13 cavities. <laughs> so I ended up seeing a lot of the dentist, Martin Vanderhofer. And uh, he was just a lot of fun. So we dated and we got married. Uh, we had a huge wedding and we bought an apartment on East 71st Street. It was gorgeous. It was seventh floor, brand new building. Our apartment had a terrace and th windows on three sides. It was beautiful. And then we'd been married about three months. And we were both standing by the window late afternoon and everything was blue. Just the sky was beautiful. It was just as blue as it can get before it gets black. And we walked out on the terrace, and Marty kissed me, and I leaned my head back to look up at the sky. And I could see our reflections in the glass. And we leaned, he leaned, put my back up against the railing, and then we were gone. We were over. Um, I saw us leave the window. My hands reached out to grab anything, but there was nothing, just blue. And I didn't black out. I thought very clearly, this is bad. This is real. And it's true. Everything passes before your eyes, slowly, like a dream. And Marty was screaming and climbing up me. And uh, we turned over once, and we went through an awning, and we saved my life. I broke every bone in my face, and I, I landed on, on him. I killed him. And, uh, anyway, ever since, I, I can't let anybody hold me. I can never be held.